last time we looked at creating functional components for each new vehicle that we wanted to add. We quickly saw that that's repetitive and we want to eliminate plainly repetitive code like this. Instead of doing a new component for each vehicle, let's create a generic component called cars that accepts the year make model as arguments and displays it to the screen. So we're going to go back to our components folder and we'll create a new file called cars.js. We're going to go ahead and import react from react to begin with. We'll create a new function called cars and that function is going to return a react element, in this case just a div. And right here we're for the placeholder we're going to do year make model. All right, so we got part one down. We could go ahead and close these out. The next thing that we're going to need to do is import cars inside our app.js. So we'll import cars from the same place. Components forward slash cars. And to display it, we're going to go ahead and type in cars uh, within our div statement right there. We're going to go over here we're gonna hit refresh and we forgot to export so this is what happens i'm glad it did to tell you the truth when you don't export uh, default inside one of your components so we're just going to go back to cars.js and we're going to do export default cars and now we get this year make model at the same time we are also not going to be using these anymore, so I'll just go ahead for the time being comment those out. And we're going to go ahead and delete those from there. Save it again, refresh, and there we are. So arguments are passed in the form of props. Props is just short for properties, and props allow you to pass custom data to the React component. Well, how do we actually pass props to the React component? We will need to do that inside this app.js where we create our own custom prop names. And each one of these names will then be attached to React's props object, which through React magic exists on all React component. So let's create a couple of custom properties and pass them to our uh, cars component. So right here, this is where you would create your property. So uh, the way I like to look at properties is just like attributes. So, for example, this is an attribute right here, class name. And we're going to create an attribute called year. And what we're going to pass to it is a 1990. We're going to create another attribute called make. We're going to call that Nissan. And our last attribute that we're going to create for this is 240SX. So now we have this year, make, and model attribute. Um, or actually properties, and these are going to be attached to the props object. Okay, so let's go back, hit refresh, nothing happens. So it's getting passed, but we're not doing anything with it. So the year make and model are now attached to the props object, and we can access them inside our cars component using the props object. All right, so let's go into cars, and in order to use props within a functional component, you're going to have to just type in props as a parameter, basically, in this functional component. Then, within your return statement, in order to access this object, you're going to have to use curly braces. Uh, so this is how you access, and you'll see later on as well, um, objects, uh, variables, etc. within JSX. You're just going to surround it by curly braces. And if you just remember what I just said, this prop object now contains these um, values right here. So it, it contains these uh, properties, the year make model. So we can say something like props.year. And this will display the year. So if we go over here, boom, there is the 1990. If we want to display the make, we can just type in props.make. And if we want to do the model as well, props.model. If we go ahead and refresh our page, there is everything that we just passed 
through app.js, through our custom made props right here, they get attached to this props object and then can be displayed inside JSX by just surrounding each one of these with the curly braces. Now we can create as many of these car components by only using one custom component that we named cars. So let's go ahead and do another cars component. And we'll do year is equal to like 2012. Make is equal to uh, Mitsubishi. And model is equal to Evo. So let's go ahead and save it. Switch, boom. 2012 Mitsubishi Evo. How about another one? Let's go ahead and pick another car. Year is equal to 1970. Make is equal to Batson. And model is equal to 240Z. Save it. Let's close this tag. And there it is. So as you can see, we've taken creating a custom component for every single make to just creating one component and reusing that, which is basically what we want to do. So that is how you pass properties. We'll call them arguments for right now to functional components.